So successful people do this behind the scenes to manifest their dream life. They look at their dreams. They focus on where they're headed. They know that you move towards what you consistently see. Hey, I'm Terry Savell Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. I want to talk to you today about one of the unseen habits of the most successful people in the world to manifest your dreams. Now I know that manifesting is a hot topic on YouTube right now, and many people are just curious how to make their dreams happen. Well, I'm called the cheerleader of dreams because once I started learning these principles from God's word about dreaming, having vision for your life, I started applying them and to my own surprise, they started manifesting. So I'm gonna share that with you, but real quick, before I get into it, would you help me out by subscribing to our channel? I don't know if you've done that yet, but if you haven't, it helps us so much when our subscribers grow. It lets YouTube know that you desire Christian motivation. So thank you so much for helping us. Okay, so manifesting your dreams. I started learning how to do this from God's word, and I'm talking about very specific dreams. Like I wrote on my dream board, I wanted to be the keynote speaker at the Amway conference. I didn't know anyone in Amway at the time. I'd never been a keynote speaker to 12,000 entrepreneurs in my life, but I searched online for a photo of their summit in a Coliseum with thousands of people, and I put it on my vision board. I also wrote that I wanted to speak for the Arbonne Company. I didn't know a soul in Arbonne. My friend invited me to an Arbonne party at her house in Fort Worth one time, so I put a photo of the Arbonne logo on my vision board. I wanted to minister at the largest church in France, so I put a picture. I Googled them. They didn't even know me, but I put a photo of the church and their name on my vision board also wrote, I want to motivate and minister to the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. So I put the squad photo from 2013 on my vision board. That's back when I was doing this. I wrote that I wanted to have offices on the lake in Rockwall, Texas. So I found a building and put our ministry name on the side of the building. I wrote that I wanted to speak at events with John Maxwell, Les Brown. Later on, I put Ed Milet and so many more. You get the idea. Do you know everything that was on my vision board began manifesting one by one? I remember getting a text from a very successful woman who's since become one of my best friends, inviting me to be the keynote speaker at the Amway Conference, the LTD Summit. Here I am on stage, the first time I ever spoke for them. Or I remember I was on the phone and my assistant Donna walked in she walked over to my vision board and she made this big check sign. I was on the phone. I was like, what happened? She goes, Arbonne just called. They want you to come speak at their headquarters to their top leaders in Los Angeles. What? Or here I am in Paris speaking to 10,000 beautiful French people at the largest church in the nation. Here I am speaking to the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Here's our gorgeous offices on the lake in Rockwell, Texas. Or here I am speaking at events with Ed Milet, John Maxwell, and Les Brown. Now, why am I telling you these stories that may or may not, you may not even care about? Because God will do the same thing for you when you apply his word to your dreams. The Bible says that God is no respecter of persons. So I just started truly applying God's word to my visions and dreams. Privately, with nobody around, just me and God. And they became a reality. You know, in just a minute, I'm going to tell you how you can access my entire online vision board course to help you get this focus because I want you to get this in you, not just like a 10, 12 minute little pep talk. I want you to apply these behind the scenes habits of the most successful people in the world. And I'm only going to focus on one of the habits to manifesting your dreams today. I might as well tell you how to get enrolled in the course since I just mentioned it at this discounted price. All you have to do is click the link in the description and it's gonna take you straight to the online vision board course. Get it while it's only $8. Your future is worth an $8 investment that will change your life. Okay, see when you design a vision board, you are literally surrounding yourself with images of what can be, not just what is. And your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. It just knows, make it happen. And see, Proverbs 23, seven says, as a man thinks in his heart, 
so does he become. Or some people say it like this, that your mind is like a magnet that what you think about, you bring about. You know, remember this powerful point. We move towards what we consistently see. We move towards what we consistently see. So what are you seeing on a consistent basis? See, what you need to know about my dreams on the vision board is that my desk faces my vision board. That means every single day I'm looking at where I'm headed. Brian Tracy said, perhaps the greatest discovery in human history is this. You become what you think about most of the time. Rory Vaden said, the more clearly you see your vision, the more you can focus on it. And the more you focus on it, the more it draws you to action. He says a great vision is like a powerful magnet that's pulling you into a future of becoming a better you. See, your vision board focused on, it is like a magnet and it just pulls you into it. In fact, I was listening to Roy Vaden tell his personal story about the power of manifesting your dreams. He said this, in fact, I, I printed it out so I could read this to you. He said on October 27, 2005, he sat down and wrote out a detailed description of what he just wanted his life to look like. He wanted to be a great speaker and speak to thousands of people. He also wanted to win the Toastmasters speaking competition. He started envisioning what his dream lifestyle would be like. He said he wrote about waking up on the top story of a downtown loft, going to work as an executive of a large speaking and training company. He even wrote the names of 12 people that he looked up to and wanted to be friends with. Then he said there was just a list of seven accomplishments, including writing a best-selling book one day. Well, at the end of the statement, this is what he wrote. Success is never owned, it is rented, and the rent is due every day. The only question now is, am I willing to pay a price that is greater than everyone else? Now keep in mind, as Rory was writing that list of his ideal life, he was living in a crummy apartment on the second floor of an old building, he was finishing up grad school at the time at the University of Denver, working for an internet security company, had never given a professional speech in his life. However, getting clear on what he wanted, making a vision board and focusing on it every single day changed his entire life. Roy admits that making a vision board at first, he said he thought it was another gimmicky sounding idea that he never wanted to do because it just seemed cheesy, but he gave it a try when he learned that so many rich and successful people do it. He said, after all, a successful mindset involves doing things most people don't want to do and doing them privately without anyone else around, whether anyone ever finds out you did this just between you and God. Well, let me give you this quick update on Rory. On August 15, 2007, two years later, two years later, after he wrote the dream list, he writes, he became the youngest person in history to play second at the Toastmasters International World Championship of Public Speaking. On April 27, 2007, he bought a condo on the 29th floor of a building in downtown Nashville. A few years later, he got married. He and his wife built an eight-figure training and coaching company. Today, eight of the 12 people on the original list are close friends of his. He's achieved five of the seven accomplishments on the list, and he's written a New York Times best-selling book. Roy even admitted that his dreams came to pass faster than he ever could have imagined. And he believes much of that had to do with the clarity of his vision and focusing on it daily. So let me just ask you, how clear is your vision? What do you want? If you could live any type of lifestyle, what would it look like? I mean, isn't it worth the time to just write it out? Isn't it worth your attention to just sit down and find some photos of your dream life and put it on a vision board? Isn't it worth glancing up from your desk or the laundry room or your closet or the refrigerator door, wherever your vision is, for just a few minutes every day? It's worth it, 100% without a doubt. So successful people do this behind the scenes to manifest their dream life. They look at their dreams. They focus on where they're headed. They know that you move towards what you consistently see. So ask yourself today, like Rory, am I willing to pay the price that's greater than anyone else? Are you willing to just 
Look at your dreams. Every single day before you run out the door, we move towards what we consistently see. See, you've probably heard that phrase, people are rewarded in public for what they practice in private. So I wanna help you get clear, specific dreams in front of your eyes. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process from a biblical viewpoint. All you gotta do is click the link in the description and get that entire online vision board course for only $8. And it comes with the ebook and the e-workbook, Dream It, Pen It, Live It. So do that right now, don't procrastinate, say, I'm doing this. And one more thing, ladies, I want you to know that it's time for the biggest women's event of the year. Icing Dallas is just around the corner, September 1st and 2nd here in Dallas, Texas. Everything's big in Texas, and this year I'm gonna show you how to go after the big dreams that God has put in your heart. So if you can't make it to Dallas in September, you can watch a live stream. You just click the link where you see the word icing and get your ticket to join us. I can't wait to see you and hopefully give you a hug. So don't forget, I am cheering you on to live your dreams.